Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to another update here on this Tuesday night. It is the Earth Master out here, about 10.33 p.m. California time, October 22nd, 2024. Latest activity here on the globe shows a 1.8 into Alaska. Let's go ahead and check and see what's going on here in Southern California. We're uh, been watching things out here and really nothing above 2.5 here today. Kind of hard to believe that. Uh, but uh, somewhat of a little increase in movement out here across Southern California here today uh, around the uh, Puente Hills Thrust Fault. This is the area down that runs through underneath the uh, Los Angeles area and is capable of producing a 7.5. Seen a swarm of activity out here a month back. Uh, actually, it's been over a month now. But today, a handful of earthquakes there in the uh, same vicinity as that previous swarm. Also, little activity stretching out towards the Malibu area. Bakersfield region getting in on some activity. Ridgecrest. Uh, also a little trail of earthquake activity stretching up this way uh, from our swarm area last night. This was down just off the San Andreas Fault here. But got, got a little sequence of earthquakes here extending up northward. A couple earthquakes uh, as well across this area of the Garlock Fault shear zone just south of there. Uh, getting that typical clustering going on here across the San Jacinto Fault Zone. A couple different segments here showing some elevated activity. And we got two earthquakes there within minutes of each other around the Salton Sea area. So nothing big to report there in Southern California yet. 1.9 and a 2.2 uh, 2 .2 up there around the uh, Sheldon Contiguous area. This used to be called the Sheldon National Antelope Refuge. Now that's been renamed, and it's in an area that, uh, well, at least one of these earthquake uh, is in an area where they had a pretty good earthquake swarm here a few years back. Traveled out here from uh, Northern California, investigated this area, and uh, man, it's definitely a lot of older volcanic activity. I'm surprised they didn't get a flat out there on some of those roads. It was pretty much made of sharp obsidian rocks all over the place. <clears throat> Uh, aside from that, uh, most of Northern California, they're pretty quiet here. Aside from the uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Field, hydrothermal plants out there in full swing. A couple earthquakes up into the uh, Vancouver Island Range. Let's go ahead and see what we have here for Trimmer tonight. 122 epicenters of Trimmer down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, as you can see on the uh, map here. So... This comes after, it looks like a, we had a couple of days there of quietness. Things starting to stir back up here across this area of Northern California. So we'll watch here uh, for some further adjustment upstream, potentially, uh, from the trimmer activity that we're seeing here in the last 24 hours. The rest of the country out here, pretty quiet, folks. Not a whole lot uh, major to report. And as far as uh, anything significant going on since this morning's update... A uh, slight uptick there across the Middle America Trench into the uh, Costa Rica area, it looks like, just offshore. Quite a few threes and fours stirring up there, getting some clustering going on across the South, uh, the, uh, South America area. The Prucilli Trench showing uh, quite a bit of movement. And uh, what do we got out here? 4.3 in a little odd fracture zone outside the Azores region. That's earlier this evening. Looks like it's just off the plate boundary there, maybe uh, towards the end here or at least north of the Gloria fracture zone a couple different uh, fracture boundaries out here uh, aside from that pretty quiet out there across the Atlantic got some movement here across Puerto Rico southern side here showing some earthquake activity really nothing major and the Mediterranean area is fairly quiet so um, getting we're just seeing the typical zones out here today Taiwan southward into the Indonesia Island region. Not a whole lot going on across New Zealand for now. Some older quake activity. Looks like for now, folks, um, you know, watch California, Middle America Trench, South America area. All showing some elevated seismic activity here today up and down the board. So definitely uh, we'll watch that. Space weather activity is getting uh, a little on the interesting side here. We do We have a number of sunspots out here on the eastern limb. That uh, is showing quite a bit of complexity here. It's going to be this area over here. Looks like uh, 
Looks like it wants to pop off something significant. Uh, let's see what we got here as far as the magnetic magnetogram image here. So I think the, the main area is going to be back over here, the significant sized one. Uh, I don't think it's been named yet, but it's quite large and it's uh, very complex there in terms of the uh, structure. I can't use my back button anymore when I go on the solar ham site. I, I don't know why. That's weird. Not for sure if he wants it that way or, or what, but it's kind of odd. There should be a back option here, but... Oh, I see there is. It's just... <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm tired. It's just uh, I changed the theme up here a little bit, made it a little darker image, so doesn't really show the back option on here as a different color, but it's there. All right, so magnetically complex sunspot out here, unnamed. You can just barely see it out here on the eastern limb. We'll get a better view of this tomorrow, uh, but I think that's going to be of noteworthy value in terms of solar flare activity here in the coming days. But once it gets into a better perspective. A better earth directed view a couple sea flares out there but overall um you know space weather activity is uh somewhat minor right now for now but that's subject to change here once these uh very active regions come into view and you can see all these uh large plasma arches out here across the eastern limb this is going to be something to watch here folks i'm telling you mark my words uh, let's see, no major auroras in the forecast there for now. Pretty quiet there across the aurora board. Uh, anything major going on for the hurricane status? Christy out there in the Pacific is uh, currently a hurricane. Expected to transform here into a major hurricane status, but it's a ways away from land. Uh, not too much out there, unless you're a fisherman or maybe, I don't think the Caribbean or the, uh, the cruises would be out here. Uh, with a hurricane so it's fairly safe in terms of any uh, damage potential that uh, is expected to weaken as it digs deeper out here into the uh, Pacific uh, let's see what we got here for the Atlantic nothing really expected here in the next 48 hours as far as the numerical models go let's see what we got we'll keep an eye on things out here West Coast California getting in on some rain uh, looks like a couple days before Halloween. Some cooler temperatures coming down. And um, some type of tropical system there that wants to form in the Gulf maybe prior. Uh, this is a lot different than um, what these previous models had shown. So maybe potentially two areas of development here in the Gulf and then one just off of the Florida area to the southeast that we're going to have to watch. Uh, it's a ways out there. It's the 3rd of November, uh, but things are changing. So we got to watch it, and we'll continue to watch it as we get closer to that time frame because we don't really need any more rain and tropical systems out there, but it looks like they're going to get it, potentially, if these models are accurate. A lot of colder air dipping down into the first week of November, and uh, that is all right with me. I, I wouldn't mind if this whole map was blue. And blue? Well, let's snow. I mean, old man winter is just around the corner, and I'm ready for it. I'm tired of seeing my pumpkins melting. I want to see a little bit of frost on my pumpkins. That would be pretty neat. So we'll see what happens here as November comes around. All right, folks, um, I am out of here. I think I'm picking up a little cold here from Missy Mimi. She got sick here recently, and, of course, you know, seems to hit me last. Uh, but I'm trying to stock up here on some vitamin C and and some natural remedies here to help um, limit the potential effects on my health. Right now, it's just it seems like it's in the upper respiratory area, kind of affecting my my deep voice out here, <coughs> and I also cough at the same time here when I when I try and talk too loud. So I'll work on that. Either way. Uh, we'll catch you guys out here in the morning for the Wednesday morning update. Uh, seismograph stations, let's see what we have here. Pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on there, folks. Nothing going on in Yellowstone, but, you know, sometimes I forget to check it. But I do want to make sure that we cover it just in case there's something major going on, which there isn't. Some wind events there from earlier, it looks like. But uh, aside from that, Yellowstone has been 
of uh, been a very quiet spot seismically speaking out here recently all right have a good night we'll catch you guys back out here for the wednesday morning update folks stay safe out there good night